guys, it's Saturday morning and you're gonna spend the weekend with me. I really don't know what my plans are this weekend. Um, truthfully, I don't have any. It's a nice day out today though, so I think we're gonna go to the park soon. But last night I finished the series Daisy Jones and the Six on Amazon Prime and I am so like obsessed with it. I don't know why, but it was perfectly done. It's better than the book. It was so good. The end was perfect. It was exactly <laughs> It was exactly how I wanted it to end. I really hope that they're going to do a season 2, but like I my brain <laughs> will not think about anything else but the show. And it's such a good show because like all these actors learned how to play instruments and sing and be in a band for this show. They wrote a whole album for the show and the album is amazing. I can't stop listening to it. Like I got it on vinyl and I literally bought a record player so that I could listen to it on vinyl. Willow. So that I could listen to it on vinyl. So if you guys haven't watched it, I'm jealous because I wish I could go back in time and watch it again for the first time. I, every once in a while, get really obsessed with something. I can count like on my two hands how many things I've been like obsessed with or like hyper fixated on in my life. So it doesn't happen that often, but every once in a while something just like, I love something so much that that's all I wanna consume. And Daisy Jones and the Six is that right now. And it's so sad because there are only 10 episodes. There's one book. So I'm not sure how long this obsession is gonna last but it's um <laughs> i'm struggling today i'm having post daisy jones in the sixth depression other things i've been obsessed with Grey's anatomy i watched that over and over and over again lady gaga really loved her for a time ellie golding really loved her for a time gilmore girls was obsessed oh twilight in high school see that's five things and now Daisy Jones and the Six. So we'll see how this obsession progresses because like I said, it's not gonna be um, a long-term thing. But anyways, I'm gonna watch a cast interview by MTV on YouTube. If anyone's new to this channel and they're just seeing this video for the first time and we're starting out strong like this, they're gonna be like, wow, this girl's a freak. <laughs> Sorry guys. My favorite scene to shoot was actually the Laurel Canyon uh, sing-along oh. scene. Oh, that's a good very close to sing along. <laughs> it's the sings along a song, and it's a very intimate moment that's very different to the rest of the performance that we have. <laughs> not stop listening to Daisy Jones and the Six. The album is so good. <laughs> One of the reasons why I'm obsessed. But this is my outfit for today's activities. First, we're going to go to the park. Um, actually, I was kind of hungry, but I don't know. I'm hungry, but have no appetite. So we're just going to go to the park for a few minutes. We need to restock on treats because that's the only way that Willow listens to me while we're at the park. But if I have treats, she's a very good girl. So we do the jerky bites for recall purposes only. So this is like the high value treat. If I call her to come, she gets this. And then these little bites are just like the fun treats. There. And then the rest of today's agenda, I want to clean my floors. It's been a while. I want to give Willow a bath, which I hate doing, but like she kind of, she needs a bath. Um, and then just chilling. I don't really know what else I'm going to do. And then for water, we do this little dog water mug. I don't like the squeeze function and Willow doesn't like drinking out of this. So I just attach an actual dog bowl to this. I could literally use any water bottle, but I just use this for the park. The park was actually like one of my favorite things that I've done in a long time. 
We were there for like almost an hour. I was just laying in the sun, listening to music. It was so nice. But I do wish I had, I should have brought like a beverage and a speaker next time. But it was so nice. And I used to like, when the weather was really nice and I didn't have plans with friends or family, it would make me depressed because I was so sad that I didn't have anyone to like enjoy the sun with. And today I just did it by myself. So I a thousand percent recommend. Just go by yourself. It's better that way anyways. All right, let's shampoo. You like this better than the bathtub? This sounds so good. You're so good, Vicky. You're doing such a good job. Okay, baby. Wait. How are you doing? Doing pretty good. I'm trying to get Camilla in as well, and we should have Sam. How you been feeling since Makes the show? Makes me so happy. I've been feeling good. <laughs> awesome. Where are you? I'm at home. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I killed it. Pretty really good. Where are you? You at home? I'm at home too. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, the cast of Daisy Jones and the Six is live on <laughs> Instagram. Oh, I'm obsessed. Yeah. I wonder how long this is supposed to be. I can't picture you like getting a tripod and like organizing this. Yeah, basic. But, um, someone said the costumes were crazy beautiful. Did they help you get into your role? It's like to be the last one because I believe. I'm gonna avoid. Well, Paris is here. Susie's here. <laughs> There's another one. Like, uh, wow. Yeah. Yep. Dude. Yeah. What's up? Um. Hey, you guys, I'm seeing a lot of questions. I don't know if you're... Oh, dude! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, yeah. I think you should yeah, talk uh, about... I, I, I want to hear from... about oh, my your hair revolution. My first show. <laughs> Hey guys, happy Sunday. I am getting ready to go to brunch with my mom and sister and then we're gonna play pickleball. <sighs> Not sure if I'm really in the mood to play pickleball, but anything to get out of the house, right? Last night, my sister was actually home, which I, she usually works on Saturday nights, but she was home and then she had a friend come over and hang out and make dinner and stuff. So I didn't really feel comfortable vlogging, but today is a new day and yeah, I'm getting ready to go leave in a sec some light makeup on and then when I get back I want to show you guys some new stuff that I got hey guys I was like truly planning on vlogging all weekend but I had so much anxiety and I'm not quite sure why but like I was feeling so anxious Saturday and Sunday and also yesterday, I just like, anxiety makes me feel sick almost. Like I had so much fatigue and my heart was just racing the whole time and I'm starting to feel better now. So that's why I'm back. But I just kind of want to like put some makeup on and like get myself together a little bit to feel a little bit better, I guess. Putting on vitamin C serum and then to put on some moisturizer. I'm like running out all my moisturizers this is how truly unmotivated i've been i did a huge like spring abercrombie order it's not that huge i mean but i spent a good amount of money should i do it this way or on my hand and it got here on thursday or friday i'm not don't even remember which day and the whole package is still just sitting by my front door because I don't even like have the care or motivation to open it right now. So we're gonna do a full face of makeup. I'm gonna put on something like comfy cute and hopefully I'll have the motivation to like be more talkative. I think that's the thing that I find most frustrating about being like an introvert is that I want to be talkative and fun 
all the time but I'm not and that frustrates like I just wish I could be you know outgoing and like willing like wanting to talk on social media and like in real life every day but it's in my nature to just be quiet <laughs> I have a lot of people that like comment on my videos like I'll put a label on myself saying the day in the life of an introvert just so that when people see that label they can relate to me right away and be like oh yeah I'm an introvert too what is she doing it's not to it's not for any other reason honestly it's just to grab people who can relate quickly enough so that people will stop and watch the video <laughs> But like a lot of people will comment and be like, it doesn't look like you're an introvert because you seem outgoing on social media and you share your life on social media. I don't think introverts share their lives this much on social media. And the thing is like, by nature, I'm an introvert. That doesn't mean that I want to be an introvert. That doesn't mean that I, I don't know how to explain my feelings. Maybe if you're an introvert, you would understand. I've always wished that I was more outgoing and, you know, not shy. And I've always wished that I didn't get exhausted from being around people all the time. But unfortunately, I do get exhausted from being around people all the time. And that's what makes me an introvert. Even like when I used to work in an office, if we had an hour long meeting, by like minute 30, I was just like so tired. I didn't have the energy to talk anymore because I was just so drained by the stimulation of socializing. And I wish so much that I wasn't that way. But by nature I am. So on social media I get to be alone and I have more energy that way and so I get to like be more outgoing or seemingly outgoing on social media and people think that makes me not an introvert. But sorry to break it to you, I'm an introvert. I think you can be an introvert but still want and crave social experiences and still like wish that you were more extroverted and or like almost practice being more of an extrovert that doesn't mean that you're not an introvert you know what I mean my makeup never lasts like probably two hours from now I'm gonna look like I don't have any makeup on at all but like I'll see girls go out with a full face of makeup and then like at the end of the day, they still look like they're wearing a full face of makeup. I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. I use a primer, I use a setting spray, and I use a setting powder to like press everything in. So we'll see how long this lasts. I really need to wash all of my makeup brushes, but I literally never have the motivation to do it. I am so sick of my hair. I don't even know what to do with it. Like, I don't really want to do anything to it. I think, oh, there we go, I can hear now. I think the best motivator is action. So what we're gonna do is clean the floors. I did a vacuum on Saturday with the intention of mopping, but then like depression hit and I didn't mop. So now I have to re-vacuum again in order to mop. show you guys all the stuff that I bought recently but also I don't <laughs> but I will get it get it get the ball all right guys let's look at all the stuff I've gotten recently um most boring I just got these highlighters from Amazon for highlighting books and stuff 
Aren't they so cute? I hope the colors are cute. And then we did a Target run on Friday. You're gonna freak out. So I got this dress, but the best part is that Willow got a dress to match me. <laughs> and like, honestly, I, I kind of just want to take some pictures in the dress and then um, return it because I, that's not my style at all. Is this for you? Do you know that? It's for you, Nuggy. I, can, I just want to see what it looks like that you're going to hate wearing. It's literally a dress. <laughs> it's so funny. Um, so yeah, me and Willow are going to be matching. Cute. And then I got some like summery casual slip-on shoes, just like a wedge. I feel like I can just wear these with anything. Super cute. Okay, let me show you. We're gonna do Abercrombie last. I got some PR sent to me. Versed. I love Versed. They are like clean ingredient, like simple ingredient skincare. And they're the people that make this iconic headband that everybody wears. This is my second one and I kind I think I'm gonna save this for a giveaway. I wanna do a giveaway in May, I think. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna save this for somebody. And then they sent me a moisturizer, cleansing balm, a toner, which I actually used this morning. I already have this. And then advanced retinoid eye balm. Cute. Kiel sent me skincare or PR. I've gotten versed PR before um, just because I really love them. But Kiel's, that's a big deal to me. They sent me their little PR kit. It has a pure serum to keep your oil in check. That's nice. Niacinamide. Hyaluronic acid serum. Oh, this. Pure serum to set up your smooth. A glycolic acid serum. Okay, I've got all the serums. Um, this is a body lotion. It's kind of a small body lotion. Meh. It's like sample size. Um, creamy eye treatment with avocado. Mm, excuse me, that sounds really cool. Also, just a sample. And then ultra face cream. I literally just said I was running out of face cream. Now I have, now I have some more. Sick. Okay. I needed new jeans. I literally only, or not jeans, shorts. I had one pair of shorts that I wore last summer. So I love Abercrombie's denim because it's like high quality but not too expensive um so these are like a dad short with like not the frayed ends and then i got another pair with frayed ends um i got these linen pants which i'm hoping are not too see-through but like just like cute summery beachy like there's a drawstring loose probably have to wear like nude underwear under them but I thought they'd be cute little summery pant. I got another button up. This one is actually linen and honestly, the reason I chose this button up, oh, this is nice. Like it's nice and soft because it's linen was because it looks very similar to a button up that Daisy Jones was wearing in the recording studio on one of the episodes. Ooh, this is nice. So just like a tank top. What material is this? It's like silky. Cool. None of this is in English. Soft AF, A and F collection. Yeah, just like a nice, I love Abercrombie's basics. Again, like high quality, but not too expensive. And you, if you get stuff on sale, then it's like really affordable and like it's just it's thick. I don't have to wear a bra. Oh my God. I love this. I need every color. Frayed bottoms. Super cute. These are all also the dad short. Okay, I guess I hopefully the dad shorts look good on me. Oh, also it has the crossed button, which I like. Um, I like, I try to be like fancy and dress up, but I really just love a good basic. And this is kind of like 
cropped little graphic tee. Be cute with shorts. Um, okay, and then like another like semi Daisy Jones inspired like 70s vibe top that I got. It's just like, I don't know, it gives like 70s vibes. Cute little with shorts, denim shorts. This reminds me of when I was in like high school. <laughs> but it's so, it's very nice quality. Super cute. Okay, and then... Uh, sweat shorts, would you call them? Just because I literally work from home, but I like to feel put together still while I'm working from home. And these are so cute. I also need more colors. Love. So cute. Okay, cool. Um, that's it. Now I need to clean out my closet. You know how like you look at your closet and you feel like there's nothing in there that you would actually wear but then when you go through and like start trying to get rid of things to donate you're like wait but i might actually need that one day like oh that might <laughs> like because i've had too many experiences where i finally get rid of something and then i'm like where is that one shirt that would have been perfect for this one stupid outfit or like now i used to have a bunch of um like kimonos and stuff like that was the vibe in like what 2012 or 2011 or something and now i wish i had them all because that trend that style is coming back with like the 70s daisy jones look i had so many cute little like pullover kimonos and like all of my clothes were like the vibe that is in style now so it's like why did i get rid of those now i'm gonna have to buy a bunch more crap so i really need to start working on a capsule wardrobe I do have a good method though for donation like take go through your closet like crazy like get rid of things that you don't wear at least once a month put them in a bag and then put that bag in your garage and just leave it there like don't donate yet for a couple of months and then see if you ever think that you need like see if you ever need any of those pieces if you do then you can keep those pieces that you do end up needing but if not just donate them all it's a good idea <laughs> you guys I am dead. You look like a pretty girl. Ugh. Got her pretty little dress on. I just posted a video on TikTok. It is an itinerary for you to have fun after work by yourself at home alone. <laughs> it's like long title. On weekends, I'm alone a lot, but I try to like do fun things to make it more fun than just like sitting and watching TV all day or whatever. Um, and I made an itiner I made an itinerary about it and posted it on TikTok and so many people loved it and asked for more itineraries. So anyways, I made one for things to do after work. This is how you're going to have the most. Cool. Anyways, let me know if you guys would want me to make a video like that for YouTube. Like, just ideas of things to do alone. <laughs> but I'm going to make myself some lunch now that it's 3 o'clock and I didn't even realize that it was 3 o'clock already. Will audiobooks get copyrighted by YouTube if I play this? They're just better at lying to themselves. I
New favorite hanging out alone activity is coloring. I just got this cute coloring book um, from Bobby Goods. They're just like such cute designs to color. This is my current page. There's another one. Excuse me. How cute is this? The flowers and the, what is it? Little bees? Ah, it's so cute. So, I like to read in the mornings because I don't wanna jump right into work. Excuse me. I like to slowly wake up and drink my coffee, but I've been listening to Daisy Jones and the Sixth audiobook. So I've been listening to that and coloring at the same time. And it's just like the most peaceful, like brain break. Break from my thoughts in this crazy head of mine. So yeah, I just wanted to share. Also, I'm wearing that new button up that I got from Abercrombie. It's so cute and soft. What is this cat doing? No. Little motherfucker. All right, I think I'm gonna end this vlog here so that I can start editing this one and then start a new one. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and supporting me. Let me get Willow so you can say bye to her. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and we will see you guys again soon. Peace out, peace and love, and go watch Daisy Jones in the Six.